So, today, Ozzy and I are going to play with a flirt pole. This is something we suggest to a lot of our clients. Obviously, he's excited to do this one. Um, especially dogs. Dogs with a lot of prey drive. So, if you have a terrier, if you have um, a border collie, a herding dog, anything that really likes to chase little furry things, my Chinook will make a good stand-in for today. Um, this is a great way to give them a natural outlet for the games that usually drive us crazy in parks. Um, so rather than just chasing kitties and squirrels, we give them a natural outlet uh, for this normal dog behavior. So Ozzy's going to work for this uh, little squirrel here and he's got to guess what I want him to do to get it and then we're going to play a little tug with it. So I use a horse lunge whip. It's flexible and it's really lightweight. Uh, my coworker Eric uses a big PVC pole. Um, because it's more sturdy and he has boxers and pit bulls. So um, this is great for little dogs or dogs with a lot of control and commands. But uh, <laughs> if you have a real big strong dog, like a rock, you might want a PVC pipe and a rope and a big tail. So attach our toy. Oh, he's excited. <laughs> Gently take the pressure off the toy. How's he give? Good give. Good. It encourages him to drop it because he gets the game to start again. And then I can decide if I want this to be a prey object moving on the ground, if I want to launch up in the air to let him have an outlet for jumping, or if you have a bird dog and you want to teach him not to rush. Uh, you can essentially flush it. So for my golden retrievers and lab, I'll put it on the ground. If they run at it, it flicks away. Really lightweight, flick of the wrist. But if they sneak up on it, if they go slow, uh, they get to win the toy. So you can decide the parameters. It's a great game to play. energy outlet for your dog. It gets them going and drive. And they get to be wild and crazy. It's a nice way to wear out a dog in a short amount of time. A lot better than going to the dog park or just a boring walk around the neighborhood. How's it get? Good boy. So I've got a tired Chinook. <laughs> Didn't take me more than a few minutes. That's a great way to exercise your dog and have a, a relationship building activity where he gets to work on his mouth and has a good time. Is that fun Ozzy? Nice entire boy. All right, so that's called flirting. Flirt pole with your dog.